Hey everybody, it's Elle or Ariel and I'm back for another bump date! Yay! This is all about the weeks 33 and 34. So in case you missed it, I did upload a pump unboxing this week. I was super excited to do that. Also because these past two weeks, not a whole lot has been going on. I mean, things are going on, but like nothing has changed dramatically from the last video that I made. So I was excited to get my pump and be able to give you guys another video because this one's gonna be relatively short. Basically, everything is the same. Yay! <laughs> Uh, except for the fact that I am growing still, of course. I mean, I'm pregnant. I get bigger every week. Uh, if you missed it, I will insert a clip of how big my belly is because I showed you guys during my pump video. And so I'll go ahead and do that. So if you guys missed it, I will insert a clip of, from my pump video of how big my belly is right now. go ahead and go watch my pump unboxing because I got a really cool free insurance pump called the free me and it's the pump that you can use with your clothes on <laughs> that sounds really weird um, but anyways go ahead and check it out it's very cool I'm excited about it and let me know if you guys have any questions or any experience with the free me pump because I'm super curious so yeah like I said not a whole lot has changed the only thing that has gotten significant this week is I'm definitely noticing driving sucks and so what's been going on is I obviously have more frequent midwife appointments now that I'm later in my pregnancy and oh my gosh it's just it hurts so bad to drive and it's because like my tailbone pain and then like sometimes I get that symphysis pubis pain too and driving just really blows like if you're a passenger at least you can change your position like when I'm a passenger I kind of like lay on one side and then lay on the other side and kind of switch it up I can kind of like squish myself with pillows like any drive we do that's longer than a couple minutes I bring pillows into the car and kind of like nest myself in pillows and so I like my last midwife appointment I was in so much pain when I got home it just wasn't worth it and so I told my husband I was like you know all my all the rest of my appointments are at 4 p.m. and he gets out of work at 5 and it does take a while to get to them it takes like an hour to an hour and a half to get to the appointment um, but I was like is there any way you can talk to your HR department because his company's super sweet and see if there's any way you can bring me to the rest of the appointments because driving because driving to Cambridge and back for us is a three-hour round trip and it is just way too rough on my pelvis like I just come home and I'm a mess for like a day and a half afterwards it's really tight and it's just uncomfortable so he said absolutely like he'll talk to his HR so he did and they're so sweet and they're letting him go into like the negatives for sick days basically because he's already used up his sick days for this year because he's had to bring me to other appointments or he's had to come to other things so or he's at his own doctor's appointments <laughs> So they're like, we'll just let you go into the negative for sick days and you'll be fine. So they're being super sweet about it. Um, but I'm, I'm happy that I'm gonna be driven to my appointments because it's just been really tough. Anyways, that's what's going on now and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.